Hello YouTube, today we got a laptop, uh, the model is here someplace, it's not a laptop, it's a motherboard, probably an MSI MS, something I will, once I replace the connector, I will write down what the model is. The situation is this, uh, this jack usually never fails, and um, but sometimes I guess it does fail, so that's the reason why clients send it to us. And the reason why clients send it to us because we are the only people who have this particular jack and stock in the United States. Uh, because I was the only person who spent a couple thousand dollars to buy a whole bunch of those jacks. You can buy them from the link below. Uh, jack looks something like that. And uh, you could go, on, go around looking for it online, but you're not going to be able to find it simply because the other connectors that are for sale have slightly different uh, layouts. So for example, in this case, my understanding that this is the minus, this is the plus or the vice versa, but I just checked this connector and this connector to have exactly the same outputs here. And another problem is, uh, is you can see that those pins right here are flat. They are flat. Let me switch the camera for a second right there right here you see how flat they are the people who sell somewhat similar jack they sell the round pins here round 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 and the problem is uh we used to get this motherboard back here and back in the days here and people provided the round pins but the round pin is not gonna go through this uh flat uh flat uh flat all, so to speak, because the round pin, uh, it's gonna take out those those um, traces inside. You need to have a flat one. I mean, you could try to do round one, but don't send us the motherboard to us one once you try the round one, because it's gonna expand the hole. Once the hole is expanded, the pluses and minuses is gonna be shorting inside. So that's the reason why uh, we are the only people who can replace it. But the problem is sometimes. Um, problem is not only the connector, but also the power supply. We don't have the replacement power supplies in stock. You have to look for the power supply online someplace. So yeah, I mean, let me show you how to replace this guy on this laptop. I will test to make sure the positive conducts and the negative conducts, but I don't have the whole laptop here to, to see how, if, if the repair was successful or not. Now, I don't think any one of you can do this kind of repair at home. Simply because, uh, simply because uh, this board dissipates heat really well, and until you heat up the entire board, this thing not going to be coming out. You will see how hard it is to remove this connector from this motherboard. And I do it here for 20 plus years, and even for me, this is really hard to take out. Now, the reason you see all the... Uh, all of the captain tape around here is so that the nearby components won't be flying off the motherboard so and won't be melting so that the in the future the laptop would still work now again it's not an easy task to remove it at home we do sell the connectors if you have the tools you can probably do it but quite honestly it's 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 really painful connector to work on all right, let me show you how I will try to remove it. I will, I, I will remove it eventually, I'm sure about it, but let me show you how it's going to be done here. Now, uh, in your case, you should also be checking the plug, the tip of the cord, and see if there is a blackness inside of those uh, plugs. Because the more oxidation there are, the, the, the worse the connection between the silver pins here, between the connections here. So if the inside of the hole of the plug has blackness on the inside, it has, a, it has a hard time connecting here to the pins. All right, let me try to remove this guy. Let me show you how it's done. All righty, so the first thing I'm going to do is add some flux here. And the reason I want to add some flux is because I'm going to flood it with the... Uh, with the uh, Oh, you know what, hold on one second. Let's get this guy all the way in. Uh, 
I'm gonna flood it with the solder. All right. Let's hope. Well, the nozzle is too big for this jack. I got slightly different nozzle. Maybe that's gonna be a little bit more helpful. Let's see. Like that, yeah. That nozzle gonna be much better. All right, so let's make sure the hot air not going to be blowing back into my face. Something isn't right with the rear two pins because they don't get any solder on them. They seem to be overly oxidated to me. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work for me. It's not gonna work because the the whole fumes are flying into my face. All right, let's do something like that. Come on. Yeah, definitely something isn't right with the rear two pins right there, this one and that one. Nothing wants to get stuck to that. It's pretty high temperatures now, over 400 degrees Celsius. Nope, doesn't want to even bulge. Come on. All right, so the reason I'm adding the solder is so that uh, when it's not a dry connection, it's much easier to desolder it while there is a solder in there. But for right now, as you can see, solder doesn't want to go, go and uh, penetrate the motherboard here in any way, shape or form. So that's really a bad thing. Come on. Right. Yeah, so the board doesn't, it, it's a one huge heat sink, it doesn't, the heat doesn't get dissipated. I mean, the heat does get dissipated really well in, into this board, and that's the reason why this is really pain to this other. Yeah. All right, let's see. The goal for me to put as much solder on every single one of those connections. Otherwise, this thing not even gonna bulge. It's not even bulging. So, what I'm gonna do is add more flux. The board is extremely heated up by now. All right. Let's add more flux. Let's add more solder onto the
Oh, oh. Southern melts. But uh, the reason why my solder melts, but the uh, factory solder doesn't melt because the factory solder is the silver based solder, which has much, much, much higher melting temperatures. So for me, the goal is to mix the the silver based solder with the leaded based solder as much as possible. All right, so this end seems to be mixed up well. This guy is mixed up well. Come on. All right, so I want to make sure that Solder is mixed pretty much everywhere. On every single pin, you have to put as much solder as possible. So that eventually the solder would get penetrated into the motherboard. Otherwise, it's not gonna... It's not gonna bulge. Alright. Alright, so the moments of truth. Let's... Pack up the temperature. No, but it's not even bulging. I told you right away from the beginning of this video that this is going to be a really painful process to desolder this guy. Come on, keep moving, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, keep going, all right, looks good, good job. Alrighty, so I was able to replace the nozzle back to the smaller nozzle. The goal here is to add as much leaded base solder as possible to the to the holes right there. And the reason I want to do that is so that all of the solder that was there before would come right out together with the together with the new solder. All right, so I'm penetrating everything, mixing everything with the new solder. And now we're gonna take a desoldering braid and try and desolder, and try and desolder everything we got here. And as you can see, there is still some stuff left inside. So we need to probably do it from the other side as well. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, beautiful. Let's see right there.
again there is some stuff uh, stuck all the way on the bottom in there all right but we still we're still trying to make it work come on let's reposition the nozzle a little bit like that and like that let's not put our fingers in there because the temperatures are extremely hot all right as you can see this one doesn't want to bulge well well no big deal let's try a few other ones okay all righty good job excellent excellent so what we need to do is we need to flip the board and do some desoldering on this side all right before we're gonna do some desoldering here we want to add some flux All right, so we got just one, two, three, four pieces to this other here. All righty, let's see how well this is going to go. And it's going quite well here. All right. Let's try one more time. Okay. Alrighty. And alrighty. All right, good job almost perfect just let me desolder this last last one here All right looks ideal looks perfect all right now let's remove all of the insulation all righty so this is the old one and this is the new one you see should be identical same manufacturer right there you see Singatron again so much money has been spent on it and I'm pretty sure I never gonna get my money back and that's the reason I'm making this video so that if you have exactly the same connector that's seriously faulty you can send it this way I have the connector in stock it, it's a pain to work on it, but uh, the reason I put the flux on the top side so that everything would penetrate the motherboard. All right, so as you can see, it's nice and tight fit. All right. All right, so it's a tight fit. And what we have here we want to put also as much flux as possible because the connection needs to be nice and solid and the solder has to penetrate the motherboard all right so let's see oh all right all right yeah okay all righty 
All right, let's start with this guy in the front. Should be the easiest one. And as you can see, the solder does not want to penetrate the motherboard really well. All right. So what we're going to do next is we will try to solder those guys here. Okay, focus here. Yeah, seems like everything is in focus. The guy right here. Another one right there. All right. And what helps us is the flux. Flux helps us penetrate the hole entirely. And I'm doing it from both sides, as you can see from the left. From the right, I'm agitating the leg. I'm making sure the leg moves left and right on the connector. And that's, again, one of the reasons why we are the only place that sells this. By the way, it's MS16L21. All right, so if you got exactly the same problem, you can buy the connector from us and just follow the follow how it was done to replace it, or you could send it away. We're gonna replace it for you. The way how to take the startup apart, we have a video on that. I'm sure about it. And here we got there's so much work. Yep. Alrighty, looks good. And I'm trying to heat it up as long as possible so that the solder would go all the way through, all the way through to the other side. And again, the only ones you need to be concerned about is, uh, is uh, those four legs in the middle. Those side ones are no big deal. Let's add some solder here. Let's add some solder there. All right, looks good. That's not the jack we worked on, but I can see that it also has some issues when it comes to soldering. Again, penetrating everything through. This is going to be better than factory job. Oops. All right, looks good. All right, guys. Uh, please leave a like. Ooh. All right, that was too much solder here. Uh, they shouldn't be connecting together. So I'm just still trying to desolder as much as possible. Just by using the iron alone. Because if it's going to be shorting, it's going to be shorting the motherboard here. All right. Let's do the braid stuff. All right. Come on. All right, so make sure the, the plus and the minus don't touch each other. Yep. Now, let me reflow it again. Again, like that, fluxes. And let me reflow this guy from this side. All right, looks good. Looks good. Let me reflow this guy from that side. And it seems we still got the connection there in between the two. Strange. Or maybe we don't. Let me see. Yeah, there is something there connecting the two. It shouldn't be there. Let's hit up both of the connections. And again, we connected both of them. 
No, that's not. Uh, all right. So it seems like now we we nice and nice and good. All right. All right. Looks good. All right. Let's fire up the microscope and make sure nothing there is uh, touching anything. All right. Let's screen this guy up, especially around those two guys. All righty. We're gonna test continuity a bit later. Now I just want to make sure that nothing is touching anything. All right, but under the microscope, we see that uh, we see that there is a possible touching right there, as you can see between this guy and that guy right there. It kind of moves on top of this area. This guy don't touch anything, so I guess I will need to remove a little bit solder from here and remove a little bit solder from there. Let me do so right now. All right. Now let's uh, get strange. I haven't encountered that kind of issue before. Let's see. Let's remove stuff from here. All right, I need to Okay. Come on. Come on. This doesn't look great to me. Oh, maybe it's just a pet that looks like that. Hold on. Let's see what we got on this side. You see how, how thermally, how the board is uh, not taking the heat from the soldering iron because it's just so much heat resistant yeah you know what you see that circle right there it's part of the tray so it's okay you see circle right there yeah so each one is touching what they're supposed to touch so this one is fine and on that one this one should be fine as well. I just concerned about that area right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hard to say. Too close for my liking. Way too close. Just like millimeters, you know. That's not something I want to do here, here. Let me fire up the hot air and get some extra solder from it. Alrighty. Here we can see there is no connection between this guy and that guy. I'm just trying to get all of the stuff out of here. 
flooding it with the alcohol so that everything would just come right off. And what about here? You see this stuff there? Mm. All right, let's brush this guy off a little bit. Yeah, nothing touching here and nothing touching there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, really beautiful. Excellent job. All right, so my guess, uh, this is negatives too, and these are positives too. All right. No, it seems like good, right? Yeah, looks excellent. Not touching here, not touching there. All righty, so let's see. Let's take this camera out. That minus is fine, minus is fine, minus is fine. This is a minus. Another minus. So these two are minuses. And this is a plus. And you see there is no short because plus gives us the resistance. All right, let's see if we get the... All right. So I can guarantee you that the current is being conducted to the motherboard just fine. We can check and see if it's going towards the rear of the jack. All right, so it does get to the rear. It goes all the way here. And that's the pluses going here. Plus goes here. Then goes over this way. And that's a plus as well. So the plus goes here. And it doesn't seem well. It goes over here, crosses there. Probably goes here. And then comes out on this end. All right. So since the power adapter is not here, and I don't have an adapter like that, I assume the current gonna go through. That's my best assumption. Um, there's something stuck here. It's not supposed to be there. That's as far as I can test it, but uh, the jack is totally fine by now. All right. Please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, if you need this connector, you could buy it below. We ship anywhere in the, in, in the universe. And uh, But if you don't want to deal with it yourself, and if the jack is broken, send it over our way. Only if the jack is broken. If the jack is not broken, if you never had to wiggle anything, it's not that. All right. Just communicate with us before tripping this motherboard over. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.